Press the menu button. To unlock the menu option screen, press the lock button. Now enter the password by pressing the following buttons in sequence. Lock, down, up, select, select, lock. Notice that the lock symbol on the left is now an arrow. This indicates that the menu option screen is unlocked. Press the up or down button to move the arrow to calculator. Press the select button to go to the calculator screen. Press the up or down button to move the arrow to distance. The distance is the measurement between stop locations at each end of the work zone. Press the plus or minus button to change the distance in meters. Release the button when desired distance is displayed. Next, press the down button to move the arrow to speed. The speed is the estimated speed of the vehicles traveling through the work zone. Press the plus or minus button to change the speed in kilometers per hour. Release the button when the desired speed is displayed. Next, press the down button to move the arrow to vehicles per day. Note, if you are unsure of the vehicles per day, then continue to volume setting. Leave the preset time. If you have the vehicles per day, press the plus or minus button to change the vehicles per day. Release the button when desired number is displayed. Press the select button to go back to the menu screen. Press the up or down button to move the arrow to timing. Press the select button. Now press the down button to move the arrow to volume. Press the plus or minus button to select one of the following three volume options, light, moderate, or heavy, based on your traffic flow. Press the select button to exit the menu screen. Press the menu button to return to the main menu. Press the button start program to run the new cycle times and resume traffic flow. You have now created cycle times using the calculator function in the Gen 2 controller.